I never knew my grandpa Mervyn. I don't really know that much about him. I know that he used to work in a bank where he met my granny and that he likes photographs and rugby and photographs of rugby. He passed away in 1995, six years before I was born. All I know about him is little bits I've heard from my dad and from my granny. But I've never really asked them about him before. I never wanted to upset them. What stands out when you think back to, to what your dad was like? That's a big question. Um... I would say the one big thing was sharing. We shared so much. What things do me and him have in common? You're, you're passionate about your hobbies. He always had a camera in his hand. I have been the same. He always had an older camera than the one he was using. He was always planning to get a new one. And the fact that you two would have shared so much enthusiasm for life, as well as similar hobbies, would have been something he would have rejoiced in. And I'm sure you would have enjoyed his company. That was just great. Because I don't feel that he's absent, I feel that he's there, just not in person. We're both quite similar, in a way. He was a rugby player, like me. His expeditions look a lot bigger than mine, but I still enjoyed my DV. And I'm always taking pictures because my dad always took pictures, because his dad always took pictures. The only problem is that when you're behind the camera, only the memory of what's in front is captured. I recognise a lot of the places in some of his photographs. They're some of my favourite places to visit when I'm home in Northern Ireland, and it really does feel like home. But I can't be there. It's been two years since I've properly been back. Maybe I'd feel closer to my Grandpa Mervyn if I could go back. Talk to my granny. I met him in Donegal Place. I, he was always teasing me, and I didn't like him. I had said no quite often to invitations to go out. A friend of mine said, don't be silly, go. And that was the beginning of a lovely friendship and eventually a marriage. Any time that we were out together, he had a camera with him. He took some beautiful pictures. He wasn't interested in his own photograph being taken. He would have been very keen on following everything that you did. It's just so sad he didn't live to see any of your efforts. I lost my best friend and a beloved husband. My house is surrounded by reminders and memories of where my Grandpa Mervyn loved to be. And although I wish I could be there to walk in his footsteps and uncover more about his life, finding these photos has connected me to him in a way I never knew before. I may not have many photos of him, but... I feel like I know him more than ever. 